In our society, people with disabilities are treated differently. But this view is unfair because everyone should be treated equally. For someone who's a quadriplegic, who has got four, uh, four limbs that are impaired, for me, I'm lucky because I have, uh, I have function in my hands sufficient to do ADL or activities for daily living. Um, with or without assistance. Uh, I don't have individual finger dexterity. Uh, I have what's called thumb, forefinger, opposition pinch, uh, and, uh, uh, and I do have triceps, which give me the ability to lift my body up off the, the, the chair and to assist in transferring. Oh, there are a lot of things that come up during the day that just, you know, over the years feel just very natural. So making a transfer from the wheelchair to the bed, making a transfer from wheelchair to car, in and out, um, and just little things along the way. If he loses his balance, I can come over and just give him a push, getting dressed, and uh, helping with bodily functions too, because that's just a part of life. Well, I think that we're, kind, we're soulmates, and so for both of us, that's a good thing, uh, whether or not he had a disability. So I guess that's part of it, too, is that my own image of Mark is somebody without a disability. And that's what I noticed about him when I met him. It was as if I had known him for years and that I knew him before he'd had the car accident. It was just um, one of those little miracles that don't happen very often and it's something to be thankful for every day. Little design issues like uh, having a, a front porch that's the same level. I use public transportation a lot. where the weightlifting comes in handy. Ready? One, two. Orange Glen Station. Please I generally take advantage of every, of of every slope that I can take advantage of. So when I have a, 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 a different and then if I'm going down in my favor, I generally try and take advantage of it to help get me up the hill.